Hello, this is Deacon Larry, and this is Renewed. Greetings. We're now coming to the end of this year, 2021, a year in which we'll remember so many, uh, so many moments, but particularly the moments of uh, this this pandemic, which we hope indeed is 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 ending, or at least being transformed into some other form that will be with us. But it's a year. This is a time and a year in which we uh, certainly can look back. But it's a time in which, as we prepare for New Year's Day for the Feast of Mary, the Mother of God, that we can look forward as well uh, forward to a new year 2022 and what it will bring i have to admit i hate new year's resolutions i make them and keep them for a day or two at best i just don't have the willpower or maybe it's not the willpower it's easy to get distracted with so many other responsibilities that we have in life but what i do value is looking ahead and being able to see and, and look at the path that we need to live in the year ahead. And so I won't make a resolution to say that I'm going to diet in this way or I'm going to keep my exercise program up. But what I would say is this is a year that God has given us as a gift day by day, the wonderful gift of time. So often we forget, you know, God is infinite. God goes on. God is eternal, but he gives us time. He gives us one moment, one year, one day, and we live each day through this year. We've lived, brothers and sisters, through 365 days by the time we end this, of the year 2021. And God is gifting us January 1, 2022 as a way to start this once again. So let us look at each day in this new year, not from the format of some resolution that I'm burdened to carry, but as a day of grace. As a day of renewal, this series is called Renewed for a reason, because God is every day and every minute calling us to be renewed. The spiritual life is renewed every morning when we awake anew and we can let go of our failings of yesterday and start afresh to follow our Lord and to listen for His call to what will be different for us this year. If there's one thing that one thing I can look forward to in 2022, is that when we come to the 31st of January in 2022, I pray, I pray that God will have given me the grace and that I will have had the strength and all of our brothers and sisters in our community and throughout the world will have had the grace to be different, to be better at loving, to be more peaceful, to be more humble, to be more grace-filled as we interact with one another and that we may embody the love and mercy of God in a new way. Indeed, my prayer for you and for all of us is that as we end 2021 and celebrate the beginning of the year 2022, that we indeed will end the next year renewed. Please like, subscribe, or comment below.